Hello, welcome back to Fred and Style. Today I'll be reviewing the ASICS GL 1130 collab with House Studios in the evergreen colorway. Um, these are a really nice pair of shoes. And surprisingly, these kind of sat on ASICS website for about, uh, I would say, 48 to 72 hours before really selling out. Um, even with all the like hype and just like hoopla on the internet for this pair of shoes, they really did sit around for quite a bit, which is pretty shocking. Especially once you get them in hand, you see the quality. I um, now kind of see why people really like hyped up on these because these are kind of better than a lot of New Balance shoes and damn near every ASIC shoe I have received so far, especially when it comes to quality and materials. Uh, just to start off, we do have this very intricate outsole to where we have a mix of the dark green, the grays, this brownish uh, plastic that I believe acts as a shank play. Then some cream hits on the outsole right there. Yeah. Then when um, we hit to the back of the midsole, we got that orange, really nice pop of color. That sticks out so much when you have all these dark muted tones. Really plays also very well off of the evergreen upper. It is not very apparent in any of the product images I saw for the shoe online. The entire time I was looking at this shoe, I was like, oh cool, it just is a black shoe with some gray, brown, and evergreen hits. But no, it's, it's mostly just a green shoe with some brown and gray hits to it. So yeah, this green definitely helps it out quite a bit. You have this, I would say blackish or maybe even a navy nubuck or actually suede that kind of goes on the back part of the shoe, wraps around them really nice here. Um, yeah, really nice material. This suede is some of the best I've seen on a pair of shoes. This leather, brown leather is also pretty nice. I wouldn't say it's uh, top grain, but it does feel pretty decent quality. There's not a plastic finish wood really at all. Then when we get to the middle of the upper of the shoe, we have this gray, very hairy suede. Feels just as nice as this navy slash black suede that we have on the back here. And more of the brown leather we saw on the back. Uh, this light gray beige uh, leather right here on the forefront of the shoe. And then on the very front, we have that navy suede. Bam. Really nice pair of shoes on that midsole. It's a uh, it's a sale colorway, sale color, but not colorway, color. Uh, feels really good, really great. And then on the insole we have How Studios with the orange matching matching that heel with this faux leather. Definitely fake. Feels very fake to the touch. But yeah, shoes are really nice, high quality. You also got these rope laces dipped in what feels like it's supposed to be wax, but it's definitely a plasticky feel to it. So it's really good. They even have the same thing for the extra laces to where it's all brown, but it is dipped in some like waxy material. You're supposed to imitate that. So really nice execution, really nice touch. Comes in this dark evergreen box. They're really going for that full green uh, design and just kind of design language with the shoe. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of short for words for these. They're really just really remarkable. Uh, house Studios on both of the hat, both of the heel tabs right here. Really unique touch. I actually have never seen a pair of shoes really do this before to where they have it to where it comes out of the midsole, not the upper of the shoe on the heel. Uh, really unique idea. So yeah, really cool pair of shoes. Uh, all these materials are really nice, really premium. The upper, the mesh material is extremely breathable. So I would definitely recommend you not wearing this in any cold or cool climate or weather whatsoever. Kind of keep it to where you're somewhere above um, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Otherwise your feet are gonna be really cold. Even if you're wearing thicker socks and if there's any precipitation, snow or rain, forget about wearing these fresh shoes. Not even because of the suede, but because the material is so breathable. Even if there's just a cold breeze and there's a little bit of rain, your foot's freezing, you're gonna be really cold. It's not worth it. Um, these are definitely a spring, summertime shoe, fall, winter, forget about it. It's just not gonna go too well unless you live somewhere really warm. So yeah, this is something I think good to know. And when it comes to sizing for this shoe, definitely go true to size. I've been really wanting to get a pair of 1130s on this channel for quite a while. I've talked about them in pretty much all of my ASIC reviews for quite a while now, since I did like the gel NYCs, which is still my favorite ASIC shoe. <laughs> Even though these look amazing, 
or the materials are really amazing. I love the design of this shoe so much. Just perfect. And then Kiana 14 videos I've done in the past. These are still really nice. Um, they're my second favorite ASIC shoes right now. These are just still number one. But yeah, go through the size. Definitely worth getting. For me, these are easily like a eh, eight out of ten. Really good, really nice. I just gotta wear these more. Maybe I'll like them a little bit more. But for now, they're still pretty up there. Still pretty good shoes. And I would probably not recommend paying more than like 200 250 on the resale market. And again, it is your money. You can decide how much you want to spend. But I personally couldn't just make a debate or an argument for spending more than 250 on this shoe. The materials are really nice, but you're limited to when you can wear it. So it's not something that you could really turn into an everyday shoe all throughout the year. It's kind of just a spring, summer, and then you're done with the pair of shoes. So yeah, if you like this video, um, leave a like. If you got something to say, leave a comment. And if you have not already, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace. Pluto.